I'm leaving for Ecuador in a couple of weeks and I wanted to show you my packing list and what I'm bringing before I leave. Then when I get back, I'll review what worked, what didn't work, and what I wish I had done differently. This is my second trip to South America and a huge bucket list destination for me. I'm going with family. Our main focus is gonna be the Galapagos, but we're also spending time in Quito and Cuenca. Instead of booking a packaged Galapagos tour, we're doing it more independently, staying in hotels and booking day trips from the major cities. Let me know if you're interested in more details on our itinerary or the costs on this versus the cruise, and I can go over that in more detail when I get back. I'm bringing a little bit of warm weather gear because the weather in Quito is cold and rainy, getting up into the high 60s during the day, but the weather in the Galapagos is warm and sunny. I'll start by showing you the pack that I'm bringing and I'll go through all my gear in different categories, toiletries, electronics, clothes, and miscellaneous. I'm testing another new pack for this trip. This is the Mystery Ranch Mission Rover 30 waxed canvas. I like the organization on this bag so far, but I wish it came with an external water bottle pocket. The bag opens from the side like a clamshell. There's two sides to this pack, one larger, one smaller, both separated with these zippered dividers. This is the main size for most of your gear. This other side, zipper pocket and then instead of one large pouch it has two smaller pouches over there and over here on the bottom of the bag is an external access it can pretty much be used for anything they call it a shoe pocket but it can also be used as a water bottle pocket it's got a nice large front organizational panel padded laptop sleeve a couple of dividers and then a few more mesh zipper pockets on the lid it has several carry options. There's stowable backpack straps, tuck away behind this pocket, clip them on the bottom, and it has these uh, stowable top load adjusters that can clip on when you take the straps out. It's also a luggage pass-through sleeve here, and then two clips on the corners up here. If you wanted to carry it in briefcase mode, I'm not gonna be bringing the shoulder strap, I'm just gonna be carrying it as a backpack. Mystery Ranch bags are extremely well-made, zippers, hardware, fabric. I like the look in this bag, especially this color, this waxed canvas fabric. However, it is a little bit heavy, about three and a half pounds. I'm pushing the capacity in this bag a little bit because I'm taking a few items I don't normally carry, namely snorkel, mask, and binoculars. But everything else that I'm carrying, I'm keeping it fairly minimalist. Starting with the worn weight clothes that I won't be putting in the bag and won't count against my pack weight. Basic setup for me, pants, shirt, button-up shirt, socks, underwear, synthetic hat, arcade ranger belt, and I'm trying these out for the first time. These are the Lem's Primal Pursuit. The clothes going into my bag, a medium Thule compression packing cube, another pair of pants, two shirts, long sleeve button-up sun shirt, three t-shirts. These are all synthetic. Another three pairs of underwear and two pairs of socks going into this smaller built-in packing cube. For cold weather gear, it's gonna be rainy, cold a little bit, mostly in keto. So I have a synthetic puffy jacket and then a small travel umbrella. I might take a poncho to put over the bag because it's not waterproof, but I haven't decided on it yet. I'm going fairly minimalist with electronics, card adapter, C to C cable. This little thing covers everything else, lightning, USB, A, C, and micro. I have a couple of new things, uh, Google Pixel 7 phone, and then these Sony earbuds I'm testing out, as well as my books e-reader. Toiletries, Eagle Creek case, Castile soap in this little Atik bag, toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, razor, mirror. I have a couple of options on reef safe sunscreen. I haven't decided which one or all three that I'm going to be taking, and then a small little first aid kit with ibuprofen, Imodium, and Pepto-Bismol, and a few band-aids. A few miscellaneous items, notebook, pen, pencil, travel games, sunglasses, towel, mask, sleep mask, travel wallet. I have a filtered water bottle here because the water is kind of sketchy down there. Hair clip, little locking clip for the zippers on the bag. Then I haven't decided what to do for laundry. It's either gonna be the scrub a mini or a little mini dry bag. And then finally, sandals, water resistant day pack, some Matador free fly, binoculars, little travel pair of Zeiss there, and then a snorkel and a mask. That's everything packed into the Mission Rover 30. For reference, it's about seven and a half kilograms or 16.5 pounds. That's all I have for the Ecuador Galapagos pre-trip packing list. 
Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions on stuff that I should bring. And then I'll check back in about a month to go over how my trip went and what I could have done differently.